right now an NTB, NTSB investigator expected to be on scene today to begin documenting the scene and examining the plane. It happened near Midland and Ebenezer Church Road. DC News Now's Liberty Zabala has more on the investigation. Well, we are outside the Warrington Fauquier Airport here, which is less than a mile away from the site of the crash. And we are learning from authorities that a single engine Beach C-23 plane was trying to land near here and then it hit several trees. Uh, the tail number was November 76 uh, Sierra Bravo and uh, it's a Beechcraft Sundowner airplane. Warrington Fauquier Airport Director David Hush shows us a photo of what he says is the plane that went down near Midland Road and Ebenezer Church Road. The crash happened just before 4 p.m. Sunday. You can barely make out the plane's tail behind these trees. This is where authorities say the pilot died after crashing the plane into this field. Then the plane caught fire. They say the pilot was the only person on board. No one on the ground was injured in the crash. The Federal Aviation Administration and National Transportation Safety Board will investigate the cause of the crash, which could take several months. But the airport director believes weather may have played a factor. All pilots know that there's risk involved in flying, and uh, especially during the weather conditions he was flying in. He was a local pilot, uh, well respected, and uh, he had a uh, private pilot certificate. He had an instrument license uh, and a commercial uh, rating, and um, it's unfortunate. And the NTSB is also asking any witnesses with any surveillance footage or photos to email them at witness at NTSB.gov. For now in Midland, Liberty Zabala, DC News Now.